How do I apply for Medicare? Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll discuss how to apply for Medicare, the federal health insurance program for people 65 and over and certain younger individuals with disabilities. Navigating the enrollment process can be confusing, so I'm here to help guide you through the steps. Let's get started. First, it's important to know that some people are automatically enrolled in Medicare while others need to manually enroll. If you're already receiving Social Security or Railroad Retirement Board benefits when you turn 65, you'll automatically be enrolled in Medicare Parts A and B. Otherwise, you'll need to enroll manually. The best time to apply for Medicare is during your initial enrollment period, which begins three months before your 65th birthday and continues for seven months. So it's the month of your birthday, three months before, three months after the month of your birthday. Now, keep in mind that insurance companies, they add on an additional three months to the front of that time period. So you could actually apply six months before your, the month of your birthday for your Medigap plan and lock in that choice, not have to worry about it for the next six months. When you apply during your initial enrollment period, that ensures that you avoid any late enrollment penalties. To apply for Medicare online, you visit the Social Security Administration website at ssa.gov. And then from the home page, you click on Medicare and apply for Medicare benefits to begin the application process. You will need to provide some personal information like your Social Security number, date of birth, place of birth, etc. Be careful when you're clicking if you don't intend to start your Social Security retirement income that you only apply for Medicare. Don't click the button that says retirement benefits, just the Medicare button. Unless you do intend to start your income at the same time, that's a different story. If you prefer to apply in person or by phone, you can always visit your local Social Security office or call the Social Security Administration. They have an 800 number. For those who work for a railroad, you contact the Railroad Retirement Board. After you enroll in Regional Medicare, you may want to explore additional coverage options like Medicare Advantage plans, Part C, or prescription drug plans, Part D. To compare and enroll in those plans, you can always use the Medicare Plan Finder tool at Medicare.gov. It does become quite overwhelming. Even the smartest people throw their hands up in the air. That's where I come in. Did you know that the insurance companies pay my costs so that you don't have to? They bake it right into the premium that you pay. So whether you give me a call and work through me and put me to work for you or not, you're still paying the same premium. And since I've been doing this since 2004 and all the tools can make it real easy and real pain free for you. Not to mention that if you have anybody in your family, kids, grandkids, nieces, nephews, et cetera, when you pay your premiums through me, we offer tuition rewards, which means you can accumulate money to help your loved ones go to college. It's a no cost program. Absolutely phenomenal. Give me a call, book an appointment on Zoom. We'll talk about how it works. And lastly, for more information on Medicare enrollment, coverage options, and how to make the best decisions, make sure you look at my other videos and subscribe to the channel for the latest updates. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.